I am constantly moving things around in my studio. As it evolves, maybe I get a new piece of equipment, I need to make space for something, or something is just bugging me. It's a constant flux of creativity and, yes, admittedly, sometimes a mess. But then, productivity. My music studio, your music studio, the place where you can creatively express yourself in the most natural and organic way as possible should be something that is comfortable and hopefully inspiring. You know what I mean? Let's go. Make more music. Yeah! At one point in time, <laughs> this book is what I used as my monitor stand because it gave me a little bit of height. You know, I'm a tall guy. I don't want to be looking down at my screen for hours on end when I'm making music or editing a video, but that just wasn't enough. So I upgraded. To this, it's three pieces of wood, four screws, some wood glue, some paint, and an acrylic sealant. And it effectively triples the height of this old book that I never read in only used as a monitor stand, but what that does is now I can sit up straight, I can look up at my screen, and it's comfortable. And that is something that if you're going to be in your studio for a long time, should be prioritized. You know, it's just not talked about enough. In addition to that, I recently got these speaker stands. Shout out to Kanto for hooking me up with these. They sent me the black ones, I wanted the white ones. So I got what I wanted, I just spray painted them. And they're six inches, so they elevate the speakers. Not only does this make them look cool and actually give me a little bit more space on the desk because I can put things under it, but it puts that center mixing point, the sweet spot of the monitors, closer to where my ears are. Now I know what you may be thinking. Dude, I don't, I don't have that. I don't have that equipment, I don't have the money to spend on a desk or even maybe wood to build my own monitor stand. And I get that, I've been there, trust me. Um, I started this YouTube channel in my attic and that was not comfortable at all. I had a tiny shelf which was less deep than this table is. My knees bumped into the wall and during the winter it was freezing because it was our attic. It was like a crawl space where I could basically, it was like an office inside of a crawl space. So during the winter, I would be shivering. I'd have this tiny little heater. Hold on. This tiny little heater was under my desk. And uh, in between filming, if I was filming, I would have this blasting. Um, it hardly did anything, so I would have layers and layers of coats and things on. And then during the summer, there was nothing I could do. It was it was terrible. I would just sweat. In some of my old videos that I've truthfully thought about unlisting for some time, but I've left them there so you could see how, uh, how terrible my videos were then. Um, I was just sweating profusely. It was, it was bad. So... I don't mean to say that you have to be like super comfortable and everything should be rosy and perfect, but there should be some type of flow in your setup. And if there's something that you feel is just hampering that creativity, that it just, it bugs you, you know, you're like, ugh. Do what you can in your budget and that's in your possession to make things more comfortable for you. Because I believe when all these things get settled, when you're not irked by just tiny little things, hopefully it'll make you more creative. And you can just go to your creative space and just start doing awesome things. That's the goal. Like this drum set, where am I supposed to put it? I don't know, in the corner. That's where it fits. You gotta find where you fit as much as you need to figure out what kind of music you're gonna make and all that stuff. There's things that you need to do and you should do them right now. <laughs> when you're able to organize your things and keep things clean, 
This also eliminates unnecessary time spent finding things or bumping into things. Speaking of cleaning, I need to vacuum. So I'm going to do that. And I appreciate you being here. If you want to watch more videos like how I built my desk, check this playlist out right here. It's three videos. They're a lot of fun. And uh, here's one that YouTube thinks you'll like. Thanks for being here. Check out my Patreon if you want more videos and exclusive sounds.